In this video guide, we'll explore the various titling options provided by Video Studio. Titling is important because opening and closing credits and subtitles gives your movies a professional look. They not only add clarity, but also provide context to your movies. So let's have some fun with titles. Let's start by creating a simple title for our movie. So we're in the title step. Double click the preview window and type in your title, Vacation 2006. When you click outside the title, this gives you the opportunity now to move the title around. Let's place the title in the middle of the preview window. This line indicates the title safe area. If you don't see this line, simply go to File, then Preferences, and make sure Display Title Safe Area in Preview Window is checked. If you don't make sure that the titles are in the Title Safe Area, there's a chance that they may get cut off when you watch the movie on the television screen. As you can see, the title now appears on the title track. You can modify the duration by dragging the yellow handlebars, or alternatively, you can change the duration by using the time code. There are many options in the Edit Options panel, so let's walk through a few of them. Here is where you set the font. Make sure it's a thick font with a high contrast, like we have here. This is where you can change the size of the font, and this is where you change the color of the font. Now here, we can change the line spacing, and this is only applicable when you have multiple lines in your title. Over here we have the text backdrop. So you can create a text backdrop and you can customize this and make the backdrop a gradient which can go from left to right or from top to bottom. Let's uncheck this. You can also play around with the border shadow and transparency options here. For precise placement of your titles, Video Studio provides the grid lines so you can show or hide the grid lines. When you show the grid lines, you can further customize the grid lines by this option here. Here you can change the size of the grid, and you can also snap your titles to the grid. You can play around with the alignment of your title by using these options, but we'll leave it in the middle. You can also apply a preset using these options here. Let's go ahead and apply a preset. As you can see, the preset has been applied and the font and the size has changed. You can also use the presets in the library. Let's go ahead and change the title now. And you can change the size by simply dragging the size controls here. So by using a preset, you can save a lot of manual work. We are in the multiple titles option, which means that we can add multiple titles to our preview window. So let's go ahead and add another title. Let's type in Australia and position it. Now let's add a preset to our title. The advantages of multiple titles is that you can apply different special effects, different animations, as well as changing the stacking order of the title clips. So that's the advantage of using multiple title clips. Now let's clear the timeline and we'll go through an example of a lower thirds title. Let's drag the fish clip to the video track. Now we'll drag a color clip to the overlay track and modify its duration to fit the clip. 
Now let's modify the color clip so it fits to the bottom of the the clip like this. Now we'll add a title. and place it within the lower thirds color clip. Let's just change the uh, size of the title. Now let's preview our work. Now the transparency on the color clip is not that great, so let's go ahead and change the transparency of the color clip. So click the color clip, then go to mask and chroma key. Now let's type in 50% for the transparency. Okay, let's go ahead and preview our work. Well, I think you'll agree that looks a lot better. Now let's clear the timeline and have fun with animation. Now let's go back to the title step and I'll show you some of the examples of animation titles I've done. So this is an animated title which shows zoom effect and moving paths. And here's another example that I have. Once again, we, we're using animation to do a, a twirl on the uh, Tarango Zoo title. So Video Studio comes with many animation options, but let's go through a popular uh, option, which is the closing credits of a movie, which uses scrolling titles. So let's go through an example of that. Let's go ahead and open up the subtitle file I created earlier. Now the subtitle files are all, they all have an extension of a UTF. Let's go ahead and open this. Now we'll left align and just clean up the title so it looks neat. And we'll position it in the middle. And let's go ahead and look at the animation options now. So to apply the animation, we'll check the Apply Animation checkbox. And over here, you see that we have lots of options. For example, Drop, Fade, Fly, Moving Path, etc. What we'll do is we'll apply a Fly animation. And we'll choose the first option because it looks appropriate to what we want to do, which is scroll the text from the bottom and it exits from the top. If you want to further customize this option, click on the customize icon. And what we'll do here is make the uh, title pause in the middle. So we'll select intermediate. And as you can see here, it's going to enter from the bottom and exit from the top. Let's click OK. Let's go ahead and preview our title now. So there it goes, it stops in the middle, and now it's going to exit from the top. Now if you want to save your subtitle for a future use, all you need to do is go to the Edit tab, click on Save t Subtitle, and type in a file name. Alternatively, you can always drag the title to the library area, like this. So now that the title is in the library, you can use it for subsequent projects or within the same project. So in summary, use thick fonts for your title with a good contrast because thin fonts always appear with jagged edges on a television screen and don't look very nice. Our recommendation is that you do not use too many fonts and keep it simple. A simple title with few words provides the most impact. Video Studio has made titling really simple, 
There are so many presets that save you a lot of time and there are also a lot of animations for creative titling. So we encourage you to explore all these options and have fun. In the next tutorial, we'll take titling into high gear and show you the famous Star Wars scrolling text effect.